Hello everyone, this is Zeke777, and welcome to Ars Nouveau. Today is episode 14, and we are going to start work on our base. Not our base, our slime farm. So, we've got a square. It's a lovely square. It has some uh, offset uh, glowstone here. I think it's kind of pretty. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be making a few of these. So, if we hit F3 and G, we can see we are inside a chunk here. And if we look at our map, it is one of our claimed chunks, which represents a slime chunk. Um, I might actually have my little slime in a bucket somewhere. Um, or not. Either way, this area here should be spawnable for slimes. So I put, I wanted to have it go out a little bit past this, the actual uh, chunk border here. Um, just because a lot of uh, mobs in Minecraft will spawn in uh, like a pack spawning type thing. So it gives them more of an opportunity. Oh, we've got one already gives more of an opportunity to spawn because if they spawn here then you can end up getting a couple extras so perfect thank you mister you are you know, I'm just gonna let the D spawn I don't even care so we're gonna go over here place that there and we're gonna start getting some arcane stone so for now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a very large set of um, the stone here I'm not gonna actually turn it into portals yet I just wanted to kind of see what it looks like, how many we need, um, yeah, and just how long it's actually going to take me to do this per chunk. I'm not actually sure how many levels I'd like per chunk. In fact, I can't remember the ideal spacing between layers in a chunk. So, yeah, there's a, a few things to learn here. But either way, basically we're just going to be making a whole bunch of these things and seeing what we can get. Alrighty, well, we have three layers in. Um... I think I kind of like having the uh, arcane stone as pillars on the sides here. Just makes it kind of look more structured. Uh, for now, I've only got this one chunk, and like you can see, it's already spawning, of course. Um, yeah, 24 blocks. Turns out that's not much. So, yeah, we've got the we've got the start of a slime farm. Now, what I should have done <laughs> is uh, I should have actually designed the main like killing area first because, well, I don't really have a place to put any of this. Um, like I've got these uh, guys spawning everywhere, but that's it. So they're just going to kind of build up. So I think what I'm going to do is mark out a couple of these, figure out which ones I want to use. I don't think I'm going to use this middle one. I think it's going to be too close because um, I want to kind of keep it low in the center. So I think that one I'm going to not use, but I can use one, two, three, four, maybe five, six. I don't know. I mark, I'll mark out a couple just to kind of designate them as the ones I'm going to be using and start work on an actual killing area. So we are in the exact middle here and I believe these four blocks here should be the exact center because it's you know centered. Um, now the plan is... oh it's lost lines. Cool. Um, the plan is I'm just gonna raise it up pretty high. Um, I don't actually know how high I want this but it also kind of doesn't matter. I'm not going for fall damage for killing them um, if they happen to die then I guess cool but uh, the main thing is I just want it high enough that I can get a decent drop to be honest just for looks um, I want to be have my AFK spot kind of low uh, the actual position doesn't really matter that much but uh, I think what I'll do is maybe this high 28 you know let's do a nice even 32 I think for um, should this be where I warp it or should I have them fall down to 32 so many decisions. So I think what the plan is going to be is I'll warp them in here to Y32. And the way I'm going to do that, I just have a little fence around, or a brick wall rather, not a fence. And I'm going to link the scrolls to this block here. Now, I don't actually know how many I need. I need at least three for that set there. Problem is once I get this set, it's going to be very difficult to actually uh, get more of these. So I should probably, how many do I have? I've been keeping them here. I have 19. So if I do three each, that would get me six chunks, which honestly is probably enough. How many did I count before? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six is probably fine. So if we do just three levels each, I think that is going to be really good. Uh, it should all be within the same bottom sub chunk, so spawning should be super quick. And I think that'll work. Um, so let's go ahead, open up our ender chest, and this one extra so I need these guys here 18 so let's link all these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 oh, okay right 
help to actually read. Uh, let's put um, stone I don't need. Okay, so if I link this, it should put it there, and then the rest of these should stack. Oh, come on. Fine. There we go. Okay, so do these... Why do you not stack? Hmm. Okay. Um, makes sense. I think these do record... Uh, it's not really shown here, but I think they record the uh, place that you're looking. So if I rotate from here versus, say, here, that's a different scroll. So that's going to be fun. Um, let me clear out my inventory. Alrighty, we have 18 scrolls, even though they don't stack, whatever. Um, and I think we just need to set it. Now, I do want to have this be a glass tube, but for now, they shouldn't be able to get out of this brick wall area anyway. Um, in fact, they're probably just going to start suffocating. So that's fine. Um, let's go over there and actually link this up. So can I land on the top one? That'd be really handy. Okay, cool, perfect. So let's go ahead and... I almost forgot, I need source for this. So I think I have a few source jars in here that should be full. Uh, five, that should work. Another one in here. Those are empty, okay. So place one down and let's toss you in. Perfect. Now, should note that it is uh, not too great on my frame rate here, but uh, ideally we wouldn't be looking at that anyway. So let's go ahead and set the others. Okay, so good news is it works. Bad news is it works a little too well. And part of the problem is that I guess the large ones up here are able to jump out. So we're gonna try to see, did that work? I only did one row, okay. So let's hop back up there. I think we should be safe on this now. Maybe, or not. Okay, so we're just gonna do this while bouncing. Fly up, please. So if we can stay here. Stop hitting me off. Okay, are we safe here? We might be safe here. Okay, um, I want you to be... Build, row, extend from any side of the original block. That one. Can go up one more? There we go. Okay, so let's build up all the way, and I think now we should be good to be able to just build. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks to some cold snap, I think this is now a safe area to be. I think, maybe. Let's go ahead and break this down. Oh. Seriously, fine, whatever. Um, so we have a, where did you come from? We have an area up here and it looks like they are stuck, which is good. Um, they will probably start taking cramming damage. That's fine, I don't really care. Um, but we need some glass. We need a killing area down here. How did you jump out? How? Okay. Um, let's get some more of these walls. So one of the nice things about slimes is that they do quite quickly reach the uh, spawn cap, especially if they fall down to their, not quite death, but to multiply. Um, yeah, it's no longer spawning over there, so that's cool, I guess. Um, let's head up to Y128 and see what happens. So if we go all the way up, we can watch on our map there. Everything below us should disappear. And now let's fly straight down. And we have bounce, so we should be fine. There we go. Land here, and there should suddenly be quite a lot of things appearing. Should. Should is a great word. Similarly, that should be within 128, because I believe 128 was about out to here. Let's see. Here, X, Z here. So we are at 1367, and edge here is 14. 1467 would be about here. So that's 100. 128 is probably 25% more, which is roughly to there. So it should be within range. Seems to be. And they seem to be dying, so that's good. Oh, that's an interesting side effect. Cool, we have a slime fountain. So I will be wanting some form of automation in this, being able to like flip a lever. That's not where I clicked. 
being able to flip the lever and have them drop down here um, as opposed to not dropping down. But for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give them some glass walls. So that should be good for now. Um, I've got a little bit of an area down here. This is kind of just a killing area. I'm pretty sure they can escape from here though, so not ideal. Um, but let's go up here and actually fix this. Do Are you just a break? Okay, so break you, break you, break you. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? So the problem is I need to fill this in and I don't want them to escape and I also need to break those blocks underneath them. So, I don't know, I may hold off on that for a bit. But, uh, so like I said, I wanna have some pistons up there to be able to pull that back so that they can fall down because um, I want two different ways for them to die. One would be ideally kind of a manual or with a spell turret. The other method would be with some Narslimus from Batania. Narslimus. Now, I don't think I actually have enough uh, runes of summer to make many of these at the moment. Uh, I might make a couple off camera and then kind of plop them over here and see how fast they work. That's sort of the main thing is I don't know how fast they're going to be. I don't know if I need like 10 of them or is one going to be enough. I really don't know. Is there not a bed over here? Where's my bed go? A bed down there? No? Okay. Well, I need to find that. Hmm. Alrighty, let's make at least... Oh, that's not where I wanted that. Let's make two Narslimuses. So that's two lime, two green... A black, rune water, rune of summer, and that should be it. Yes, okay, so toss our seeds in, fill you up again, and let's make another. So part of the reason why I want this area here to be up in the air a little bit is because with the Narslimus sending to mana pools, I'm actually thinking we want some of our mana storage to be below us. So I think what we can do here is, for now I'm just going to do like one here and one here. And let's get our spreaders, which I haven't made yet. Come here, and I would like two elven spreaders, please. Oh, I need petals. Didn't bring my petals with me. Okay, then. Like I was saying, spreader goes here, and over here, similarly, a spreader will go right there. Now, do I have any dirt on me? Of course not, but there should probably be some sitting around here. If I recall, there's at least one right here. Perfect. Grab you. Thank you. Um, that'll be enough for now. We'll just do one and see how that works. So, let's take this break right there and stick a dirt down with a Narslimus on top. Now, with that... Let's uh, have a terrible idea. And that terrible idea is where it's going to go. You know, actually, let's expand this by one. That'll get us a two by two area. Um, let's do like that. There we go. And a pickup. Why not? Now, if I hit in the middle, perfect. Now, let's close you up. Seriously? You guys are stuck up there. Okay, well, if you're gonna get stuck up there, let's uh, see if you are targetable. Are you? Kill a few of them. They should start falling down. Or explode. That's cool too. Okay, can you guys start falling, please? Oh, right, because the glass is going to be wider. That makes sense. Okay. Um, you know, here's our solution. Solution is we're going to go just up really high. Everything should despawn. There we go. Let's head back down and let's land. Oh, meant to land on that, but okay. Mm, yep, we're going to have to, I think, replace the stone brick here with glass on this level as well. That's not working. Um, let's just place it regularly. I was hoping that my um, break and place at the same time would work, but I think because there's so many mobs here, it's not working. That didn't work. Let's 
go back up there, please. Okay, you know, we're going to need to, I think, have these guys despawn yet again. Okay, well, that does actually answer one of my questions, which was how fast can these things work? Um, the answer is not fast enough. Good to know. All right, so this whole area here is now turned into glass, which means they can now fall down. And as you can see below us, we have a few slimes. So let's go ahead and sleep so that we don't have any other spawns as well. Sleep, please. There we go. Okay, and let's, let's fly up again, which should then kill off everything below us. Up to 128 again. I need to put like a warp rune to do this. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's hop down to this level. And it looks like everything is, for the most part, staying here. So that's good. Uh, there, there's one popped off over here. Where did you come from? I don't want anyone down there. Okay, so what we're going to do is I need to get some dirt. Um, I want another of these in our slimuses because one is not cutting it. Come across these. Yeah, there's a couple of these that are still escaping. I think what's happening is as they die here, um, or perhaps up top there, Ah, they're getting stuck in the glass. That is a concern. Okay, we can solve that. And it looks like the range on our slimus is actually pretty small. They didn't seem to be getting any of them from the inside, like any of the inside slimes when they were sitting out here. So I put them in there. Um, you guys do not appear to be doing anything though. I wonder if because they're dying and then splitting, if they're not counting as like real slimes, that could be a possibility. Um, hmm. That might make it more difficult. Alrighty, so we've been doing some work. And that work is I've expanded it out to a four by four area in here. Um, I also have a layer of signs here with some water on top so that they don't take fall damage. And as you can see, they're, uh, yeah, it's working. So this is basically just as soon as they hit down here, the Nar Slimus eats them, for lack of a better word. Um, and then that will just send it into these mana pools, which, of course, is just a recessive spark spreading to the regular pools around it. Um, definitely going to expand that. Um, I probably also want more Nar Slimuses. Um, but what I want to do is I want to I wanna unload everything. So let's get everything below us to disappear. There we go. Now let's head back down. Hold shift so that we don't bounce. There we go. And now, now, there we go. Okay. So that's working, but you're slow. Why are you slow? No one's online. I don't think that's 128 away, so it should be good. You guys are still working nicely. I feel like they should be spawning faster than this, though. They seemed like they were before. Um, but I guess this is at least working. So they're spawning, they get down here, and they instantly despawn with the Narslimuses, and it just gives us constant mana. I think it's working. Um, I want to make it a little bit faster, though. Although it does look like these uh, spreaders are pretty much continuously completely full. Uh, Narslimuses used to have slime, or mana, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you are empty, so it's filling you up. It doesn't seem to be doing anything with you. I wonder if they are... Okay, you're still... Okay, so it does split it up. I was worried that they were all just going to one and then any extra mana is getting wasted. It does look like extra mana is getting wasted, though, because um, that is just fully maxed. Um, you... Are you bound to... Why are you bound to that one? You to this one and find you to you okay that should even this out a little bit more so instead of them both going to one spreader there and overloading it it's draining both of them that seems to be working okay so like i said i want to expand and i think we've got a chunk right over here so it's probably there-ish and one over here and one over here so let's get those four or at least we'll do one more and see how that works and i might need more in our slimuses
All right, well, it looks like we've got a little more than maybe two pools worth. So I've got kind of a third, 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 and same over here. Um, one problem I'm starting to see, and that is, if I look this way, frame rate. So this is a little too close for me um, because it's just going to completely kill my frame rate, and I believe even having something behind it, it's like if it's completely obscured, yeah, frame rate's still not great. Um, and so I don't know if I want to put one right over there because it's not very far away. Uh, that one over there, you shouldn't be spawning. Okay, um, well, obviously a slime, far, a slime chunk over there, um, but I believe that should be far enough away that it won't render the uh, portal. And then same with over there. I hope that those are far enough away. Um, obviously the one over there is far enough away that it's not rendering. You can see that there's no little black there. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep this one, to be honest, because I don't like the frame rate part here. It's fine if I'm looking this way, but if I have to do any work around here, that's going to get annoying. So if we look at this with the uh, potency lenses there, this is now drained entirely, so that's good. So it looks like it's enough to completely drain it, maybe? Uh, it's hard to tell. So I think we are still losing some efficiency here because it looks like it's going to f overfill the mana, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's, it's working. Uh, I don't know if I can make this any faster besides getting a Gaia spreader, to be honest. Um, and even that, I don't know if it'll keep up. And it has finally come to this. I've been kind of avoiding fighting the Gaia Guardian for a while, mostly because there's nothing I need from it. I don't really want the Flugel Tiara, because I already have Flight at my base anyway. And really, Flight everywhere else, I prefer the Elytra. So, I haven't been fighting it. But I finally need something from it, and that is the Gaia Spreader. Um, just to be able to keep up with the slime farm, honestly. So, yep, completely overkill. Doing this just for one kind of silly thing. But let's see. I might actually have this, uh, might have it up too high. I'm not entirely sure. Can't remember. But uh, let's eat. Let's get our food all the way up. Get some regen in there as well. And let's also get that going. Okay. So let's see if it works. Cool. Also, that means I can walk underneath here. That's handy. Alrighty. Well, um,. See you when we're halfway through, probably. Alrighty, halfway through. It's uh, sitting up there, gonna get a bunch of monsters soon, so let's heal ourselves up. And, uh, hello. Sweet, I need more of you. Switch to this spell. There we go, nice crowd control. Is that all I got? Okay, well, pretty easy fight for Gaia 1. Um, not too concerned. There we go. A little bit better now. Um, loud music. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now. Um, yeah. Pretty easy fight so far. Um, can we come down now? It's not even that powerful of a sword, honestly. But, uh, it's just that the guy I want is honestly that easy. So, kill you. Thank you. Okay, and now we have some guy spirits. Let's get ourselves a guy 2 fight as well. 
For those who are wondering, my uh, standard heal spell is just a touch rune. Uh, it allows me to be able to use this on myself as well as on others. Uh, touch, rune, heal with an amplify, uh, dispel to get rid of anything such as wither. Uh, I also then have a heal, extend, amplify, which is then a regen. So getting this gets us regen 1, regen 2 with amplify. Uh, Conjure Mage Light is basically just to give myself a light as well, so I have night vision. And then Aquatic, which is... Uh, I had that because I was swimming. Is that, don't really need you. Um, I could swap that out for, I guess, Summon Water. Conjure Water, that will put me out if I'm on fire. Um, honestly, I'm just going to leave it like this. So, let's go ahead and do another Gaia. So, this one uh, should be harder. I'd imagine it's going to be harder. But, uh, let's regen. There we go. Come on. Okay, this one should be a lot faster and harder. Try moving around quicker. Regen, or the wither, is not too bad. It's not yet. But, I'll keep an eye on my health. Go away, little pixies. Okay, let's heal ourselves up. Go away. Yeah, I could uh, try to cheese this a little bit with that same firework spell, but honestly, the, uh, the guys, Gaia Guardian, has a maximum damage anyway. And so it'll basically just kind of waste it and be probably really hard to see actually because my frame rate goes terrible when I use that. I mean, it's you know, 256 fireworks, so that does make sense. Where'd you go? Alright, well, I'll let you know when we're done. So, one thing about the guy fight to be aware of is uh, damage to your armor. Uh, I have Unbreaking 3 on these, so it should last throughout this fight, I hope. Um, but, we'll see. Last couple hits. One more. There we go. Cool. Um, and lots of free uh, botanic stuff. Alrighty, cleaning up our inventory. We have, what do we got? Rune of Earth, Rune of Fire, Wrath, and Water. Cool. And let's see what we get with our Dice of Fate. Uh, leather Boots, I don't want you. You can go over there. And so can, I had a bow to put that in here. You can go away too. Cool. Dice of Fate, what do we got? Ring of Loki. Um, okay, so this one's kind of cool. It, uh, if I recall, this one lets you basically place more than one block at a time. So, if, like, set it there and there. Then if I place a block down, it tries to place it in both of them. I can't remember exactly. It's kind of a weird thing. Um, actually, I think I probably have to have it equipped. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I have Builder's Wands, though, so probably won't be using too much of that. Like I said, the main reason why I was doing this was for the Gaia Spirits, so I can get myself a couple of Gaia Spreaders. Alrighty, back at our slime farm here. Um, the last thing I want to get done today is I want to replace these guys. Thank you, thank you, and I will need you plus you plus you gets us a Gaia spreader. So let's plop that down right here. Relink you, please. You to you. Is that ready full? And let's get you a potency lens as well, because why not? This should be keeping up now. Anyone falling down? I guess these are basically drained almost instantly, it seems like. More big ones. Okay. Seems to be working a little bit better. Let's replace this one as well. Break you. One of those, one of those, and one of these. And pop you down as well. Now, I believe that the... Uh, Flowers should automatically rebind to these, um, just because it's in the exact same location. Seems to be working. And how are you guys doing? Definitely draining faster. Oh, excuse me. Don't hit me. Cool. Well, there you have it. We have a slime farm. Well, not really slime at this point, because it's just giving us mana. But in the process, I did get somewhere in the neighborhood of full shulker of slime anyway. Um, so I don't think I actually need any real slime, which I kind of knew going into this project. But we have a very large area here, big empty space. We've got, we can put more farms in here. I'm thinking maybe a drowned farm. It kind of depends on how things go. Um, I started on a thing over there, but I ran out of glass, so I didn't want to put down the whole top if I didn't have the glass there first. Um, other than that, 
this is working. We've got a lot of mana. It's definitely made enough mana to make up for the Terra Steel that we used to get the uh, these guys, the spreaders. So it's working, working like a charm, honestly. Um, I'm happy with it. We've got more mana than we know what to do with. I mean, we already had that anyway because we had 42 pools at back at base. But we've got a thing. So I'm happy with this. And hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.